Welcome back to the Dataverse session. I hope you are doing very well. In this video, I will show you how to mount Azure Data Lake using Service Principle to DataWix workspace. So before going forward, I request you to please subscribe to the channel and like this video if you find this video helpful. Now let's get started and see how to mount Azure Data Lake to DataWix workspace. First step, we need to get client ID, talent ID and client secret from Key Vault. We already put this key to this Key Vault. How to put? You can simply go to Key Vault service and uh, we already created in previous video this Key Vault. If you do not watch, you can watch in previous video playlist DataVix and go to here secret and generate and name it for example again client ID and for example we need to put here client ID. We already take this client ID. We already see how to connect Azure Data Lake using service principle in previous video and get here client ID, talent ID and secret ID we already see in previous video. So we put this client ID here is the hard coded in production environment we do not use here hard coded because security reason. So we put this hard coded value to if you put this hard coded value to this key vault you can see do not reveal this key ok and you can put here for example optional name content type client id service principal app ok in this way you can put and just create we got an error because of duplicate name so let's create again put here client id one two ok we do not need to use here a space we can only use dash or number ok and now put here client id and set activation date and enable and you can create here client id here is client id created in this way let's delete this client id because we already created here delete ok now to get client id from key vault we need to use here dbutils.secret.help you can we already learned this in previous video to list score we use here dvutils dot secrets dot list scope this is my scope name and if you want to see secret you can also use here dvutils dot secrets dot list and scope name is put this data bricks scope in this you can see here client id data bricks secret id data bricks storage key vault and tenant id data bricks we already put this you can see same name in data bricks now if you want to get the value like this hard coded value client id for example tenant id and secret id we can use here let's create a variable client id equal to dv utils dot secrets dot get we use here get method to get the string representation of the secret value with scope and key ok we need here a scope and key so my scope is this one you can see here scope name and put this first is scope then we need here key for client key use this key to get value in this variable ok if you remove this variable for now it's so redacted so put this value into client id ok in same way put this i am copy this for now and we want to get here tenant id and we need here client secret ok and we need here tenant id so use here tenant id key and for secret so we use here same client id tenant id secret id client id tenant id secret id 
in encrypted format so control shift enter to execute it's execute successfully now we need to config to access azure data lake so we already open here documentation from microsoft and use this documentation i will leave this documentation in description box link of this documentation and you can copy from there and see this documentation so copy this and copy this string run the following in your notebook to authenticate and create mount point so copy and paste here i copy this into another cell here is need client id so put this variable into here then we need here a scope and this is need here secret id so copy this and paste here here client secret and we require here tenant id direct id means tenant id copy this and if you use variable in between string we need here curly bracket and in curly bracket remove this example and put here variable and put here in the beginning of string f using python f string format now execute this does not match open parenthesis we have to remove this we unnecessary put here a small bracket now we execute here config now we need to mount so we need to configure this and we need here container name and storage account name so go back to your portal home page storage account this is a storage account name and this is we use here demo container so go back to databix workspace we need here container name we use here demo container and storage account name this is my storage account name dws for dl gen2 is a storage account name and container we use here demo now we need to mount point mandatory keyword forward slash mnt then mount name use here container name then demo demo container name then this is storage account name then demo container name and execute this cell so it's mounting to databix workspace here is mounted successfully if you want to see so use here dbutils.fs.mount and control enter you can see if let's use here display command you can see here we successfully mount to databricks workspace and this is the url if you want to see file in this container so use here dbutils.fs.ls and put this path mount path to this you can see all file available in this container let's use here display command again okay if you want to read this country file copy this and use here the spark dot read dot file format is csv so let's use this and remove this dvfs and shift enter to execute we get here data frame so let's use here display command to display data from this data frame and now we successfully read the data from this demo container okay so we successfully read the data if you want to unmount this container if you require then we can also use here if you require to unmount so you can use here dvutils.fs.unmount command 
then write here path name which do you want to unmount and shift enter to execute you can see here this path has been unmounted and if you want to see dvutils dot fs dot mounts and execute you do not see here any that path okay so that's all about in this video if you find this video helpful please subscribe the channel and like this video thank you for watching have a nice day